Here are rappers who were caught being super fake. Find out why Pusher T decided to reveal the truth about Drake. Number 8. 21 Savage Did anyone see this coming? Who knew it was going to be the government that outed 21 Savage? 21 Savage was arrested by ICE officials because he was in the country illegally. The backstory here is that 21 Savage's entire rap identity is that he grew up on the streets of East Atlanta. But obviously, if he was illegally in the country because he was a British citizen, how much of his past is true? His music had become synonymous with East Atlanta, but he wasn't born in Atlanta or in Georgia, much less even in the US. But the real questions are what does being from a city even mean? If you weren't born somewhere but were raised there since a young age, can you still say you're from that city? Let us know what you think in the comments and do us a quick favor by hitting that thumbs up button. When this news came out during the Super Bowl in 2019, his fans were super confused. Yes, it's true, 21 Savage moved to the States when he was 7 from the UK. During an interview with Good Morning America, he said he wasn't hiding where he was born, but he wasn't vocal about it exactly because of his current visa situation. We're just wondering, why didn't he just take care of it? Number 7. Migos Rapper trio Migos were revealed by Gucci Mane to be wearing fake jewelry back in the day before things really took off for them. In his autobiography, simply called The Autobiography of Gucci Mane, he wrote that the first thing he noticed about Migos was that they had on a bunch of fake jewelry. So he took gold necklaces he was wearing at the time and gave one to each of them. That was his pitch for Migos to be on his label. And after Migos left, young Scooter, another rapper who was in the studio at the time, pointed out something in the trash can that he thought Gucci needed to see. Apparently, on their way out of the studios, Migos had tossed their fake chains in the trash can since they just got gifted real ones. Gucci Mane also told his story on Instagram, although in kind of a nice way. Obviously, Migos refuted it and they weren't too happy about it. Number 6. Ugly God This isn't really about getting exposed, but more about just telling the truth. Rapper Ugly God went on an interview with Vlad and admitted that the chains and the watches he wore are fake. Because why not? The chains are good fakes according to him. There's the bad fake jewelry and there's the good fake jewelry. And Ugly God is wearing the good fake jewelry. He's the type of rapper who's not wearing jewelry to say how much money he's got, but definitely just rocking chains for the look. And it's true. Jewelry is kind of like cars, especially chains. They have value, but these guys definitely aren't getting back what they paid. But it seems like Ugly God does have on some real jewelry because he may have caught Number 5. Takashi69 Getting caught with a fake chain after you're saying you don't wear fake chains has to be embarrassing. And that's exactly what happened to Takashi69. The funny thing was, he actually outed himself. Long story short, he's testing the chains of everyone in the room, but when he asks his jeweler Jimmy Boy to do the same thing for him, except when Jimmy does it, his chain is exposed as fake. But it kind of seems like it's all set up. I mean, the video did get uploaded after all. He is a big troll, so we really wouldn't be surprised. But the most embarrassing thing for Takashi has to be him being a fake gangster. We don't need to rehash this story because everyone knows he's not from the streets, and he basically snitched out all his past crew. Takashi tattletale memes are still hilarious today. Number 4. Rick Ross Is it possible to do a video about rappers being fake without mentioning Rick Ross? Rick Ross has paid the cost to be the boss for a long time in the rap game. He's been a successful rapper for over 15 years, something that 99.9% .9 of rappers cannot say. Rick Ross being fake isn't a new thing. He's made up so many things to the point that his rap name isn't even actually his. His real name is William Leonard Roberts. But really, does any of it matter? What do you think? All he has to do is make good music and that's it cares if he never did any of the things he's rapped about. The moment that seemed to have a pivotal moment in his career was when 50 Cent famously exposed his past as a correctional officer during their public feud. At first he denied it, 
But then he owned up to it. It probably was when he realized that it wasn't going to hurt his rap career. He admitted that the job was just something that he needed to do to make ends meet, and he doesn't regret how any of it went down. That's because doing whatever he needed to do for his family was him being completely authentic. In his interview with Sway back in 2014, he said to feed his family, he'd absolutely do it again. Number three, Drake. Drake's arguably the hottest rapper in the game, so most people already know his clean past. Yes, we all know he was on the show Degrassi. He did not grow up in the hood, but that still didn't take away the bombshell that was dropped by Pusha T, that Drake had a secret son. The background story that culminated in Drake having an unknown son is intriguing. It started way back 15 years ago when Pusha T released a song with Birdman of Cash Money Records called What Happened to That Boy? Allegedly, Chad Hugo and Pharrell were never paid for their production work on the track, so Pharrell never worked with another Cash Money Records artist again. This move by Birdman is kind of the same move he pulled when he went broke and couldn't make the payments on his mansion. Find out more about that story here. Anyways, a few years later, Cash Money artist Lil Wayne started adopting the skater look that Pharrell had been rocking for years. Pharrell had his own brand, Billionaire Boys Club, and Lil Wayne asked for some of the clothes, only to get refused. So Clips, who Pusher was a part of, made a song called Mr. Me Too that was directed completely at Lil Wayne for copying their entire style when he started wearing Bape hoodies. To make a long story really short, Drake is part of Cash Money, and Pusher T has been Team Pharrell and Chad Hugo since day one. They went back and forth trading diss tracks, and it gets more and more heated each track. All the way until Pusher T just basically ends the entire beef by getting a little too real talking about Drake's son. And it's understandable why rappers need to show that they keep it real, and this is what... Number 2. Soldier Boy Try to do Soldier Boy decided to go to Compton to show how the guys from around there loved him, all while recording on Instagram Live. Well, let's just say things didn't go the way he wanted it to. Those guys that he was trying to be friends with ended up stealing his iPhone and maybe, or maybe not, beat him up. Who knows? Then there was the time Soldier Boy was caught wearing a fake watch. Fake Watch Busta from Instagram outed Soldier Boy's fake AP on his page several times. Apparently, Soldier Boy's fake watch was a bad fake. Automars and the battery on it ran out. So it showed the same time in all the pictures Soldier Boy posted. It was 1025 all day, every day for Soldier Boy. There was also the time he posted fake money on Instagram. It looks like stacks of hundreds, right? But then someone commented that it looked just like stacks of paper, each with a $100 bill on top. And that's kind of what it looks like to us. What do you think? The funny thing was that Soldier Boy went on to double down and post a vine of himself with the same stacks of suspect bills. However, he deleted both posts once he realized people just weren't convinced. And now we get to... Number 1. Bow Wow the king of being fake. Is there anyone that's faker than this guy? I mean, there was a challenge to be fake named after him. That started because he posted a picture on his Instagram of a private jet like he was going on it back in 2017. The problem was someone caught him flying economy. On the same day, he was supposed to be flying private. Plus, the funny thing is, the photo that he used was a stock photo. There was also the time he tweeted that he had the chance to watch the Atlanta Falcons play from a private suite, but he was too tired from filming. The problem was that it was the Falcons' bye week. For all you international viewers, that means it's the week the team does not play. And it doesn't stop there. There was that time when penny stock scam uh, investor Timothy Sykes called him out for passing off his cash as his own. After Sykes called him out for posting his cash, he then plugged his scammy investment courses. Then it kind of just devolved. Bow Wow then said he had on a fake AP while showing off his own real AP, and then Sykes explained that, uh, never mind. I think we can all just agree that both of these guys have a lot to work on. Here's what's next. 